Hi, this is Chad with NoviSign, and today we're going to go over corporate lobby digital signage and how uh, you can use NoviSign to put together, say, digital directories that have uh, office listings, um, lobby style screens that have welcome messages built in with the directory, um, scrolling news tickers, company updates, what have you. To get started, we're here on NoviSign.com. And in the upper right, it says login, and this takes you to our online dashboard to create, edit, and manage the content. In this component, we are landed on the creative page. In the creative section, you can put together all of your content. You can build stuff from scratch or customize one of the templates. We'll go over that shortly. Second button here is playlist. That's step two. Once you have your content made, you put together a playlist. You can schedule it. So let's say, for example, uh, you know, for your lobby screen, you have a upcoming uh, you know, meeting that everyone needs to get to. You can pre-schedule a slide or template or announcement to pop up, say, 7 o'clock at 7 o'clock to 7.30, letting everyone know, hey, don't forget the important meeting. The third piece is screens. So once you have a playlist made, you would send the playlist to the screen. So you can update either one screen at a time or create a group and update all of the screens at different locations within one click. So to create something, we'll hit the button, create from template. Here, this brings us to the library of templates. If you select the dropdown, we can switch the orientation to portrait. For the demo, we'll do landscape. As you can see, we have over 200 different templates that are fully customizable. All of the layouts, zone sections can be tweaked to um, your needs. For this example, let's pull up some different layouts that we have from lobbies. So we'll start off with something that has a blend of a, a directory, um, you know, with some zones for messaging. So I've opened up my template here. And if I hit preview, we'll go over how it looks. So we've got a directory on the left, on the right, a zone for imagery, media, videos, and then a welcome message. So to customize this, it's very simple. All of the widgets are on the left, your canvas is here in the middle, and the properties on the right. So if we wanted to change some things, um, maybe you know, delete some stuff, tweak it, what have you, we could simply click zone and delete it. To add our widgets, it's drag and drop. As far as what we have, we have a label that we can use for database integrations. Um, one very useful one would be a Google Sheets. So let's say, for example, you don't want to manually go through and add your information as far as the directory is concerned. You can sync this little section with Google Sheets and simply go to a spreadsheet within Google and change the information and it will seamlessly sync up with the screen. Therefore, you won't have to go into the system and do any edits. You can do it from Google Sheets. We also have here a text widget, an image widget, video, slideshow, scrolling ticker, RSS feed, YouTube, Ustream, weather, clock, countdown, shape, a web page, display any web URL, Google Slides, section of your website, what have you, web image, FTP, touchscreen, template within the template, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Q, Yammer, and M3 feeds. So to add something, you simply select it and drag it. So let's say, for example, we wanted to put a slideshow. Click on it, drag it, size it up. There we go. On the right, the properties. You can add images, MP4, slides. Let's do an image. So I clicked on the camera. You can hit the upload button and upload your media. And I'm going to scroll down really quick here. I've got some slides that I have put together in advance. And insert. And then I can adjust the time. So that's going to be five seconds. Very simple. Bottom here, welcome message. If you wanted to keep it there, simply change it. Just double click type your message, and it would go here. You can adjust the size, the color, the color code, put that in, uh, font, bold, everything. If you don't want it or you want to move it, simply click and drag. Now, I can also delete whatever I have here. See, I don't want something. It's very, very simple. So I'm kind of destroying the directory, but you get the point. Easy, easy, easy to change. Um, I'll do an, another example here. So let's say, for example, uh, weather on the bottom. Click and drag, put it, 
on the right, I can type in my location. So all of the widgets are fully, fully customizable. All of the properties form are always going to be on the right. And the neat thing is you can tweak it and change it to have whatever look and feel uh, you want, which gives total flexibility and control over the content and style itself. We'll go over another example here quickly. Create from template. I'm going to filter the category to business. And I'll open up, let's just say, uh, something that is more of just directory. So here we go. If, let's say, we don't like the background, click delete, it's gone. Want, don't want the images, we can simply delete those as well. Now we wanted to, let's say, put a really cool image. We don't have a lot of media. We're not really good at finding stuff. Well, we have a really cool integration with Unsplash. Unsplash is a free, um, professionally taken um, source of media imagery for photographers. So if I click and drag the web image, I'm going to do full screen. On the right, it says add from. I'm going to select Unsplash. And I can type. So if I wanted to find something, let's just say building, right? Um, you don't have a building picture. You want something cool that looks modern. You've got so many options with the Sunsplash. It's very, very, very nice. Um, let's just say business. You know, just to kind of see. I mean, you've got some really good options here. Flexibility. We'll just do business. Hit OK. Now notice it's on the front. You can push it back on the top. We've got some options for layering. So if I push send backward, send, it goes layer by layer. Or if I wanted to go all the way back, just hit send to back, right? And what this does is you can bring things forward and back and really tweak it and change it. As far as a, um, it's hard to see, so we'll do kind of an overlay here. Give it to black. There we go. And I will push that backward again. So now it brings out the text a little bit more. But the neat thing is it gives it a really clean look and feel for your directory. And I'll just kind of move some things around. So I want the top half of my setup to be a directory. And I'm just dragging and dropping. Notice how we've got the auto alignment feature here. So you don't have to worry about eyeballing it. So I've got my directory up top. Now I wanted to maybe add some other things. So let's say slideshow. I'm going to drag that over. Fill over here. Slideshow. I can upload maybe a video um, that we have, company video or something like that. There we go. Um, there. Pop, perfect. And then let's say a ticker. And what we'll do is this will be like a company news or something like that. So I've got it sized on the right of the properties. Plus. Welcome, uh, thank you for visiting. Great. Um, let's put the company meeting, you know, today at 3 p.m. Okay, now we got it. I'm going to put a backdrop in the zone, fill. So I'll just say black and opacity. There we go. And then I'm going to change the text color to white so you can see it. And again, this just kind of stresses how easy it is to use while giving you lots of lots of flexibility. And if I hit the play, you'll see our ticker. Let's hit preview so we can see it ready to go. So as we are playing, we've got our directory, we've got our scroll ticker. Now, yeah, this doesn't look the greatest, but hey, I did this on the fly, literally within 30 seconds. Just it's a good testimonial as to how easy it is to do and put together. As far as the system, anybody can really use it, as you can see. So someone at the front desk, you know, let's say they need to, to make a quick change. They just simply log in, change the name, you know, um, conference room, whatever. There you go. And hit save. It's done. So it's super easy on the fly. Couldn't get... Um, as simpler, straightforward as this. Once you have your content made, we'll hit save. And then I'm going to create a playlist. So I want to get this in a, in a sequence um, to play on the lobby screen. So what I'm going to do next is hit playlist, create a new playlist. 
I'm going to call this lobby side. And I'm going to find my template that I just made. There it is. Now, let's say maybe I have a special template that I put together to welcome, you know, a, a specific guest, um, you know, you know, a happy birthday, someone. I'm going to add it. And what we've got here is our first template and our second one. We can rearrange the order by simply clicking and dragging. There we go. I'll put it back there. And notice it says 8 minutes and 47 seconds. That is because the video that we added is a total of 8 minutes and 47 seconds. So that template will play in full, then go to the next one. If you wanted to reduce it or cut, the, you know, play it shorter, what have you, just simply type in. That's 30 seconds, and that one is 5 seconds. There you go. Now, if you wanted to get the second one, like the welcome message or, you know, pre-schedule it to play on a specific day, click the calendar. And if it's a one-time message, we'll set expire, and we'll want that to play on the 26th at, say, 8 o'clock and stop at 8.30. And what will happen is when the time hits, that specific piece of content would play. It would stop playing and go back to the original one. You can also set a recurring schedule. So if you want that one to play maybe every day from three o'clock to four o'clock, you know, saying, hey, you know, goodbye employees, you know, whatever, right? You can set it to play every day, three to four, or if it's just every Friday saying happy Friday, you hit Friday, you're done. And you hit create. There's our playlist. Now screens. So that is basically the screen slash media player. The media player is a small device that you'd connect to the screen through HDMI and get it connected to the internet. Um, on the media player would be the NoviSign app, and basically you log into the app and link the screen to the account. Once it's linked, it will check every minute for new updates, download them, and then cache them to the screen to play. So if the internet drops, the content would still play. In this section, what we'll do is add the lobby screen, and we'll assign the template lobby sign and hit create. That's it. You can create groups as well. So if you want to have all the lobby signs in one group and update them with the same playlist, that's also available. Once you've got it put together, you hit simply update. And assuming you've got the media player connected to the screen and logged in and you've selected lobby sign, content will download and start playing. Uh, we do also have the feature built in natively with the app. So if the device power cycles, the app will automatically load a full screen and your content will keep playing. So you won't have to send someone out on site to uh, make an update or reconfigure it. You can give NoviSign a try free for 30 days by going to our website, novisign.com, simply selecting the sign up button. And here you can register. No credit card is needed, full 30 day trial. If you'd like to receive more information, a quote, a demo, what have you, you can send us an email, info at novisign.com. Again, that's info at novisign.com. Hope to talk to you soon. Thanks.